Welcome to a new episode of Review Starlight. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I'm ready for this episode. This, the previous episode was absolutely crazy. I thought that episode one ended in a, on a, like a really crazy note, which it did. But episode two explained some stuff slightly, but there's still a big mystery element hanging around over this. I did not expect this. I legit thought this was gonna be a slice of life about about girls preparing a stage play and then performing said stage play. That's it. Um, I yeah, I am so surprised by how much depth and just how many different elements there are to this story. So I think there's supposed to be. Um, I don't know if I should call them power levels, but matchups between girls. Um, and some girls are better than others in standing in the spotlight and taking the attention, being a star, basically, right? Being the center. Um, and that's all that they're looking for, apart from obviously being like good at acting, uh, which all of them are, so that's not a problem. But the problem is how much can you stand out and stand in the spotlight, right? So what they're looking for, I'm guessing, is they're holding this audition to find who's gonna be a star of, I don't know, maybe of Starlight. That's one thing that I'm wondering, and I'm sure it's gonna get answered, so you guys have been really good on not spoiling me on anything. You said that it's a really spoilerific show, that it's easy, easy to spoil, but I have not seen any spoilers about it uh, yet. So you guys always say, I'm gonna avoid saying this and this, uh, so I don't spoil anything, so uh, thank you for that. And the support on the series has been really insanely good, so once again, thanks for that. But, uh, so what I'm wondering is, what is this audition actually for? Is it for Starlight at the end of the year that they were mentioning? So, do they do this audition? Maybe it's like this audition is kind of part of this, this school that they're in, or academy. And at the end of the year, they have, they perform Starlight, right? Which is their traditional play or whatever. They're the school's signature play. And this audition probably, I think, th were there two main roles for Starlight. I feel like when you see the the script for or the poster for Starlight, there are two names that are in like different color. I saw that in the previous episodes. There are two names or two roles, I'm guessing it's two roles, who are in a different color. I think they were like pink and the others were black or something like that. I don't remember the exact details, but I remember they were a different color. So I'm guessing there may be two main roles for Starlight and maybe those roles are selected through this audition. But I don't think that would make that much sense because haven't they, they have, yeah, they've done, no. So, sorry, I'm gonna go in on a bit of a tangent here. Or not tangent, but just a bit of a rant. Because they have performed Starlight multiple times before. Even our main girl, oh shoot, um, our main girl, whose name I'll remember as soon as we start the episode, but she... She performed in Starlight the year before because she was talking about it, how they're performing it. So, but she didn't know about this audition. So it wouldn't make too much sense that she performed in Starlight without knowing about the audition. So maybe that's not the point of the audition. I don't know. Hmm. It's interesting. It's really interesting because unless I missed a piece of dialogue, I don't think it was ever mentioned what this audition was for. It was just the one who's going to win the audition has the potential to, to seize their destiny or something like that. So, what does that mean? I don't know. Please, Kirin, answer our questions. Please, please, I'm begging you. I am getting more confused by the episode, but it's so good. This anime is so good. The animation, the imagery, the music, all incredible. The voice acting as well. So, I'm so excited to watch more um, and to see where this both mystery and just the story in general go uh, from here. Anyways. Um, the previous two episodes, I know I'll mention it every episode briefly, just in case, but the previous two episodes were able to be uploaded to YouTube without any editing done to them. So that's great. If it continues to do so, I will obviously be uploading them without editing them. But there are some anime that only allow like one episode to be unedited and then every other episode after that has to be edited. So if it happens to this as well, it's gonna be the full uncut and unblurred version is gonna be always on my Patreon, which is down in the description. Um, it happened yesterday with one of the animes. Only episode one was allowed to be fully up uncut and uploaded onto YouTube, but the second episode was ha had to be edited. So um, I hope this 
is allowed to be fully on YouTube. Anyways, I guess we'll find out. You guys will find out the second I press play, but I'll find out when I'm editing it. Anyways, I guess without further ado, let's go into Revy Starlight episode 3. And it shall be bestowed upon you, the star which you have longed for. The music is incredible in this show. Ooh, is that Claudine and Maya? Three, six, eight, eight people. Claudine, right? Oh, so she's gonna be the one who gets Starlight. Was this Starlight? Here goes my theory for Starlight. Okay, so the two main roles for Starlight in this iteration were Maya and Claudine, correct? Uh, so, okay, my theory for the audition being for the main roles of Starlight, as I did come to this conclusion at the end of my theorizing as well, it's it, it's completely bullshit. Okay, correct, okay, correct, correct, correct. Okay, now I know, now I know. It has nothing to do with Starlight, I'm guessing. The opening... The opening is really, really good. I think the ending is even better. Ooh. I love that part. Banana. I love that she's driving a freaking Honda. Oh, I love this part. Okay, this is a banger, man. I forgot how much of a banger it is. It's been two days. Oh, this is great. Hikari-chan, Puru-puru shita mono nigate da te kiita kara. Banana muffin, oishiku yaketa no. Is this Nana? Yeah. Ma, mani atta. Giri-giri safe ne, futari tomo. Haha, of course I like. Sugokatta no, sugokatta no, kyo no kare-chan. What do you mean by that? Anna koto shite mo. Oh, Hikari is actually sleeping with them. Anna koto shite mo. <laughs> she slapped her. いや、昨日いろいろ大変で。いろいろ。いい加減。一人で起きれるようになりなさい。そんなんじゃ、つゆざきさんだって迷惑でしょ。つゆざき。私はそんな。カレンちゃんを起こすな。別に。ああ、
カグラは聖書祭初めてだったな。父兄の前で発表する生徒たちによる講演。ま、文化祭みたいなものね。2018. Oh, this anime came out in 2018, right? 私たち90、19 <笑>年間スターライトをやるんだよ。1年ごとに再演して、どんどん舞台を成長させていくの。そう。ああ、それから、次回の聖書祭では、ライバが裏方も兼任することになった B 組とともに脚本段階から舞台作りを勉強してもらうバナナあ歌も踊りも大好きよでも演出とか脚本とか舞台を作ることの方にも興味が出てきたの That's cool Also I can hear Shuriko now もう舞台に立たないの And this voice that she's doing 脚本次第かな Yeah もちろん、ちょっとした役とかなら出るかもしれないけど。うん、that's interesting. I can respect that. Oh. <笑>でも、もったいないよ。バナナちゃん、歌もダンスもすっごく上手なのに。<笑>舞台の上を知るからこそ、かけるものがあるはずです。マヤちゃん。ああ、マヤ、私たちを生かす。いい舞台を期待しています。The o b v i o u s l y it's so goofy. I love it. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, I think I can do that. Yeah, I'm sure I can do that. Yeah, I'm sure I can do that. You know what I'm wondering? I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna pause maybe a bit more if I have anything to say. But what I'm wondering is, or not really what I'm wondering, but What I'm always thinking about while they're talking is who knows about these auditions and who doesn't know about them. Because Maya and Claudine, you do know. We saw them fighting in the auditions. Hikari knows.、Um, and then obviously Junjun knows. And our Karen. Karen. Our,、uh, our Karen knows. So are those five? I think those five are the only five that are confirmed so far with. That they know about the auditions. Okay, that's all I'm wondering whenever they're talking about it. Wow, in plain daylight. Yo. Nana, can't audition Stene. What does it say? That's your coat to me, Sirkara. じゃあ私もああのカレンちゃんが主役なら私。How is the leader all decided though? ボンジュー。ボンジュー。クロちゃん。いやあ私としたことが寝坊しちゃったわ。うん？青春祭？そろそろ始める時期なのね。クロちゃん聞いて。次の青春祭。バナナが裏方に回るって。え？そうなの？なあ。<笑>それでバナナを買収してたってわけね。<笑>ま、買収なんてブスいよ。<笑>じゃあ私もベリダンのマクロ。わー。クロちゃんは去年メインどころやったからダメ。ね。So the backstage people decide who's like the director or maybe or whatever decides who's the main role. Maya? 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 Maya
crowbar? A zip tie? Locking her in there so she can't uh, attend the audition. Maybe that's my theory. Wow, she left her a muffin. What a sweetheart. Huh. Banana and Junjun. Ah, the roommates? Damn, Junjun's got fashion. She's hip. <laughs> Do you see this giraffe? Wow. Huh. Man, the OST is just kicking, man. Oh. Hmm? Oh, it's this chick. Futaba. That's it, that's it. The motorcycle girl. Starlight dorm. Is she taking a... Wow, the censoring. Who is this? Oh, it's that... Yeah, it's this girl. And Futaba is here. Yep. I really like how everyone has their own thing going on and they're each trying to figure out what each other is going through but we can kind of see most of the things I really like this Oh, I'm built different. So she lost to Maya. Yeah. Her cloak was stripped off her. This is so interesting. Mercy? Mercy? こんな時間まで双葉半が宇宙を一人にするやなんて。ま、昼半も捨てられなかったくち。カレンさんに。捨てられたとか。そんな。いや、that's <笑> Does she like her? Like, like, like her? Mmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmmm
Ja. No participation today. <laughs> she escaped. Ha! <laughs> 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 That's insane. Who is she facing off against? Claudine? <laughs> no, that's from back during Starlight. Damn! They're, they animated the heck out of that moment. Who is she facing off against? Is it gonna be Maya? Review time! Okay. So every episode I'm guessing is going to end with a review, right? Between, I'm guessing, Karen and another girl. That's my guess. It's time for this song. This song is so good. I'm guessing it's always the same song, right? Just by different girls singing it. I think so. I'll starlight you all. あなたの光集めて今。星の愛。あなたの心に届けましょう。マヤ。99期生主席天童マヤ。ケードオブザ1990ジェネレーション。きらめきをあなたに。レッツシー。ハウクド。カレン・ウィンデス。カレン・ガ
so epic. I really can't see Karen winning this. That's so cool! The sword animation. What sacrifice did you make? Yes, yes, yes. The Phoenix. Oh. Chance. Position zero. This is Tendo Maya. I have a feeling I want to talk about it after the episode. I have some things to say. Sarado. <laughs> Is this the ending? Oh yeah, I remember. So those performances are different every episode, but the ending... Uh, uh, I don't know. That performance definitely was it was a different song, right? Than the previous one. I'm not I'm not tripping that. And that it sounded very different. It was a lot more epic. The previous one was hype, this one was epic. You know when I said I prefer the opening over the ending? I mix up the ending and the perform the final performance. Oh, this is Hikari's VA? I'm pretty sure that's what it said. So I uh, uh yeah, I mix up the final the performance, the review and the um ending. But with I like the ending a lot. Uh the ending is really good. I think I slightly prefer the opening, but the best part is still the performance or the review. Okay, is it over? After credit scene. Eight people. Indomaya, number one. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. We're not going like this. We're going frame by frame. We're checking all of them. Uh, Maya, Claudine. Makes sense. Banana, number three. Okay. Uh, Kaoruko. Which one's Kaoruko? Is, guys, uh, which one's Kaoruko? Um, I'm not gonna check any out, outside media or outside sites because I don't want to get spoiled on anything. I forgot which one is Kaoruko. Ftaba, number five. Tsuzaki Mahiru. 
you guys are gonna have to help me out. One of them is probably the... Well, maybe the, both of them are the blue-haired girls. The two that were in the bath earlier. I'm guessing. And then Junjun. And then Hikari is number eight. Okay. And then number nine should be... Ka oh, wait. Oh, wait. Karen was not in this, right? Uh, Yeah, Karen was not in this. So number nine presumably would be Karen. I wonder. Let's see. Karen. Yes. Hikari-chan. Okay. Oh, okay, we have a lot to talk about, I feel like. Okay, um, so this is gonna be my speculation, and I don't always pick up on all of the things that were like kind of symbolized and stuff, so I am sure some of you will clear it up if I get anything completely wrong. Um, but I feel like what what's her name? Uh Maya was talking about was Claudine didn't stay at number one or Claudine ended up being inferior to Maya because Claudine wanted to share the spotlight, right? While Maya wanted the spotlight to herself. And I feel like that's the thing that Maya was talking about. And also, that was the thing that Maya was alluding to when Karen was talking about how she wants to get to the top with Hikari. And Maya did not like that because it's kind of the same thing that my girl um, Claudine wants to do. She wants to be at the top, I'm guessing, with Maya, right? Or together with people. Uh, we saw her being way nicer to Futaba than Maya was to uh, Karen. So I am guessing that Maya wants to like show this pride, review of pride. This pride, this self-confidence, this diva energy that you are the superstar, the only superstar. And the others are there to elevate you. Um, that's what it feels like to me. And I feel like that's the kind of mindset you have to have if you want to be a like a standout main character figure. And you could feel it in Maya's performance. That was such an overwhelming victory for Maya. Like it felt like Karen did not stand a chance against her. And I really like that. I was just wondering, I just said prior to the review, if we're gonna see Maya or sorry, Karen lose at any point. And here it is. Okay, it makes a lot of sense. I wonder how this is gonna go. How, yeah, I wonder how this is gonna go. Maybe... I I don't know. I don't think this... As I said, I don't know what this audition is for. And we're gonna get the answers in due time, I'm sure. But I'm guessing it's not for the main role in Starlight. Because, as I said, Karen was in Starlight last year. But she did not participate in this audition. And I'm guessing that everyone that's performing in Starlight gets to get a chance to be... Maybe not. Maybe they don't. Maybe she just gets... A, maybe... Huh. Yeah, maybe they don't get a chance to audition for the main role just because they're in the play. So maybe it is just for the main role of Starlight. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Anyways, that would be interesting to see. So I feel like all of the girls know... All of the main girls that we've seen know about this uh, audition, right? Nine of the girls know it. So it's going to be Ftaba, Maya, Karen, um, Claudine, Hikari, uh, Banana. Um, okay, okay, I'm getting the names surely. Junjun, and then the two blue-haired girls whose names I can't remember. That's all, right? That's all of them. Yes, I believe so. So those would be the nine that are... We saw them on the ranking at the end. So I'm guessing they all know about this audition and are participating in it. So that's good to know now. Uh, because that's one thing that I was wondering about. Okay, so all of them are in this. But they probably... I don't know if they know about each other knowing uh, that they're in the audition. So... And also, they're just not allowed to discuss it outside, right? 
they said oh no it's not that they're not allowed to discuss it they're not allowed to it's they're supposed to keep it a secret so if someone already knows about it telling them about it is not like exposing a secret or anything so they can talk about it with someone who already knows hmm interesting but i don't know if they know that each other knows you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> um so yeah okay this anime is so good man the camera work in this is incredible i love how they build like cg sets and then they're moving the camera around and then at the last shot when they're the characters they put the 2d characters on it and a 2d set and then they finish the camera work with the 2d it's so cool that shot with karen and maya on the stairs and the camera panning around them and them up um overhead that's such a cool shot oh my god this anime is so good okay wow this video is gonna be a bit long so let me stop talking here i feel like i've said everything i wanted to say Ooh, also i wonder if that giraffe book on who had it open uh was it junjun yeah junjun had the giraffe book open on her table I wa on her desk i wonder if it has any meaning or if it's just supposed to be like a funny easter egg that she has a giraffe open i don't know i don't know i'm gonna keep it at the back of my mind but i don't know if it has actually any meaning anyways i think that's all um as i said i hope it's gonna be fully uploaded to youtube it's not up to me it's up to youtube or up to whoever licenses this anime so hopefully it's fully uncut um and if you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Peace.